Good morning, Baldwin. My name is Stephen Fisher, and I'm here with Aubrey Shaw and Jordan Dolly. Today is Wednesday, March 15th, and here are your morning announcements. First, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for the following announcements. The impossible question is, there is a 60% chance you'll do this over the weekend. What is it? Stay tuned to find out. Sophomores, an, an incredible opportunity is being offered to you through the EQT Foundation. The program is called Aspire, and if you are selected for the program, you will be assigned a mentor to help you through the career and college experience, and you could earn a $10,000 in scholarship money. Go to the aspireprogram.org for more information and an application. The deadline for the applications is April 23rd. Hurry, spaces are limited. Now over to Jordan for the weather. Jordan? Thanks, Stephen. Today's weather is a high of 15 and a low of 13. And tomorrow's weather will be mostly cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 20. Now over to Aubrey for more of today's news. Aubrey? This is Neil in room 342 for a Sarah's Candy fundraising packet to lower your ticket price for prom. All money and order forms are due on March 15th. Now back over to Jordan for sports news of the day. Jordan? Thanks, Aubrey. The only sports announcement for today is the girls' varsity softball team plays at South Park at 4 o'clock. That is all the sports news of the day. Now back over to Stephen for the rest of the announcements. Stephen? Thanks, Jordan. The main course lunch is fajita chicken wrap with a side of fries and your choice of milk. The weird holiday of the day is the Ides of March. And the answer to the impossible question of there is a 60% chance you'll be doing this over the weekend is pay the bills. That is all for the morning announcements. Have a great day, Baldwin. Want to know what's behind these doors? Well, stay tuned after the announcements this Friday to see what controls the whole school.